huge program celebrating 70 years of the festival and uh, I hope that the musicians of uh, Pittsburgh Symphony will enjoy. we were the first concert of this whole festival, like we opened the festival. And just the magnitude of the Pittsburgh Symphony sound and playing Mahler, I think that's like overwhelming just for anybody. This one guy in the front, he had this huge grin on his face the whole time he was clapping and it just made me smile too. I had come several times as a guest concert masters over the last several years and really enjoyed um, my time with the symphony and I certainly was uh, interested in um, auditioning for the position of concertmaster. It's, it's like playing with a, a race car. The energy was amazing, the hall was beautiful, um, and uh, the audience was really, really supportive. It's just such a beautiful area and uh, if anyone has the opportunity to, to check it out, I'd highly recommend going and taking in a concert and enjoying the beautiful scenery. We just came back from an amazing second concert in Grafenegg. Maestro Honig's conducting was amazing, and the orchestra uh, delivered its full potential tonight with um, Richard Strauss's Elektra Suite, which was just a ball of energy and fire. It's a wonderful trip and, and very, very uh, blessed and privileged to be on a tour like this. The, the acoustic is, is just, it's really very, very special. You can hear everything and every seat, you can hear the orchestra super clearly and that's, that's so rare. Pittsburgh Symphony Orchestra has an, um, a wonderful reputation in these festivals. Um, so when I came to uh, take over the Pittsburgh Symphony Orchestra as music director, one of my first goals, let's continue this tradition and be in Grafenegg, be in Salzburg, closing as, as the only American orchestra, the, the festival, be in Hamburg in the new Elf Philharmonie, in Dresden, wherever you... you yeah. So this is a wonderful for us to, to be in demand. the main piece the first night. The second night we played Strauss's Electra. And um, of course both nights, double encores, the soloists that we had also played their own encores. Uh, it, it makes me very, very happy and proud to uh, be a musician of the Pittsburgh Symphony. Our concerts have been very well attended, if not sold out at every venue, and uh, you know, yeah, it's, it's a great feeling. We think of ourselves as uh, cultural ambassadors and economic ambassadors for the region. We, um, you know, the caliber of your orchestra is a real indication of the caliber of the city that supports it, and so. Um, we uh, have got an incredible reputation in Europe uh, with sold out houses and uh, with lots of fans, uh, which Mark witnessed in Dusseldorf a couple of days ago, and uh, that we'll have again tonight. So it's really exciting. A lot of us have seen like the world-class orchestras and symphonies, and Pittsburgh is among the great. And so when you hear them, when you see how they perform, you see how they engage the audience with their music, and the response from people who are not just fans of Pittsburgh, but are fans of the symphony. It, it really is something to be proud of. It's been a very good tour, and we've had lots of successful concerts, and I'm having a great time playing with my old colleagues here. You know, there's there's a lot of traveling involved, but the the concerts make it absolutely 
worth all of the uh, the, the hustle in between, and to to get to do something like this is, is such a privilege. My name is uh, State Representative Rob Mercury and my wife Kelsey. Hi. And we're here from the North Hills of Pittsburgh. We re represent District 28, which is uh, the Wexford area. And uh, we just have enjoyed uh, this uh, concert series in, uh, in Europe. We were in Germany and Austria with the symphony. And uh, we got to see some of Pittsburgh's finest. So we are seeing the, the kind of culture um, and uh, performance that is just world class. atmosphere was electric. Uh, this audience could have stood for 20 more minutes to hear the symphony orchestra play whatever was next. Uh, they had endless claps. It was a good 10 minute standing ovation in my opinion. And they have real appreciation for the music here. So I think it really was significant in their response. Very proud to be a Pittsburgher tonight. That's for sure. I'm working on a couple of stories, but glad to be here at the same time that the Pittsburgh Symphony is. I know the orchestra well. I mean, not personally do I know Hanuk, but I admire him. Thatcher Scharf. I'm the American Consul General here in Frankfurt, and my wife. I'm Donna Scharf. And uh, I'm actually born in Pittsburgh. Wow. So my family roots are there on both sides of my family. We've been living in Frankfurt now for a year. We represent the United States and Southwest Germany. And as soon as I heard the Pittsburgh Symphony Orchestra was coming, I got tickets immediately. I think all the people know, meanwhile, also Pittsburgh and Montreal Honig. So I think we have a ha very happy audience tonight. Um, when an audience in Cologne is happy, they will show you. Play on, on some of the most prestigious venues like the Salzburg Festival, for example. I mean, we were the only American orchestra to be playing there. The big highlight so far has been in Salzburg. And the Salzburg Festival is like the, the premier festival in Europe. You know, sold out house there and and, uh, and the orchestra always gears up for, for, for those especially big nights. I, I feel very proud of, of what the orchestra does. We're definitely putting our best foot forward. The orchestra, I think, is playing at an extremely high level.
I enjoyed indeed every part of this tour. I am so proud of the orchestra. The musicians played sensational. This is um, for me a, a, such a pleasure to be with, with them and then show that what, the, what we know anyway, that Pittsburgh Symphony Orchestra is one of the world-class orchestra. Mm -hmm.